Hello everyone. The find as algorithm is having one of the limitation which is providing single hypothesis which is consistent and derived from the hypothesis space with respect to given training examples. But there is the possibility of few more hypotheses that may fit with the training data equally well. So to avoid this uh, limitation, we are coming for another one algorithm, candidate elimination algorithm. In the candidate elimination algorithm, which is provides description of the set of all the hypotheses which are consistent with respect to given training examples in the data set, which is computing the description of this set without explicitly enumerating all of its members using the more general than partial ordering. That means we are having the uh, more general than um, ordering with respect to hypothesis and target concept comparison. So this set of consistent hypotheses are represented by incrementally refined that means suppose we find the hypothesis h1 with some number of uh, values then it will be refined in the next iteration so we are applying the iterations with respect to each and every training examples so uh, when iterations are increasing the hypothesis uh, consistency also keep on refining with respect to number of tra uh, training examples are encountered from the given data set. So when we are increasing the number of training examples from x1 etc into xm, so when we are increasing the examples, the consistency of the hypothesis also increasing with the uh, m uh, n number of hypotheses here even though candidate elimination algorithm and find as algorithms so both are performing uh, poor uh, with respect to the nice training data here the candidate elimination algorithm is represented with some notations a hypothesis h is consist consistent with a set of training examples given in the data set D if and only if the hypothesis of Xi should be equal to the target concept of the corresponding uh, sample Xi. So it can be represented with the pair of the, uh, all the samples X and with its, its corresponding target concept C of X with the, in the data set D. So uh, the Candidate elimination algorithm is producing the consistent hypothesis with respect to data set D it is defined as for all the data samples and its corresponding target concept belongs to the given data set D and it should satisfy the hypothesis of corresponding xi should be equal to the target concept of xi. So, uh, which is provide you set of all the hypotheses which are consistent with the observed training examples given in the data set D or instance space capital X. Here, uh, initially, uh, it will consider the two boundaries uh, uh, in a general boundary and a specific boundary. In the general boundary, we will start with maximally general hypothesis. So maximally general hypothesis will consist uh, all the uh, attribute values of hypothesis will be represented with more general uh, constraints. So quotient symbol is more general constraint. So this has to be uh, decreased into the uh, specialized that means a specific hypothesis. So we have to move into the specific hypothesis. So here each attribute uh, we will compare with the each and every training example here. Suppose sky is having here uh, sunny etc and uh, here we may have uh, any other humidity so it may, it may be a, a normal so it has to be replaced by another constraints by making into the specified uh, hypothesis so here we will have more general to more specific uh, values so here each question will be 
replaced by specific value whenever it is not satisfied by the given example value with the hypothesis value then if there is any specific value in the general hypothesis then that can be replaced by the null value so we are moving this more general hypothesis more general constraint value into more specific value or least general value like that uh, which will have specific boundary which is representing the maximally specific hypothesis with the null constraints here the null constraints will be replaced by the more general constraints like so here we are moving from more specific into least specific or more specific to uh, more general so by replacing the null uh, constraint by specific value constraint if there is specific value constraint in the uh, hypothesis uh, then we can be replaced by the more general constraint so based upon this uh, replacing the given constraints from uh, converting more or most specific constraint into the least specific constraint or making the generalized constraints to uh, make that given hypothesis into consistent hypothesis with respect to all the training examples thanks for watching